No, they have changed significantly because, uh, uh, first of all, the unity by itself was almost, as far as I am concerned, a daily concern and a daily source of problems in the first term that I, I served, the relationship between the South and the North, more or less polit uh, dominated political issues in the North as well as in the South. Uh, there is no doubt that uh, once unity was uh, fulfilled, a tremendous change in the political scene in the former YAR and YPDR, uh, quite uh, significant. Uh, however, I don't have to say it, uh, the problem between the South and the North did not end forever. There are still problems today. There was a huge problem in 1994. Uh, nevertheless, I think the change is permanent and they will, will never uh, be reversed. Not at all. I think uh, there is a misconception of the role of uh, foreign experts in developing uh, government structure or uh, constitutional uh, structure. If, uh, there is complete misconception. First of all, uh, experts are available when requested. They bring ideas, but they are, their ideas are not taken for granted, and we are not yet at that stage to use whatever they say. However, the uh, upcoming constitution will be a purely Yemeni conceived, Yemeni uh, structured, but perhaps with later on expertise in drafting. But the uh, Yemeni people will have to draft their own constitution. The role of foreign expertise is being trumped up incorrectly. We have never used so far a single sentence of foreign expertise regarding government structure or, gov or constitutional uh, uh, structure as well. The experts go and come, give lectures, talk to people about uh, the future Yemeni state. However, uh, this is still far away. The dialogue should start the dialogue itself should identify every aspect of the new Yemen and should take decisions on how the government will be formed. Is it parliamentary? Is it presidential? Is it federal? It is, is it uh, decentralized? All these ideas will be accepted and put into effect by Yemenis. Then when a foreign expert is asked to come in order to legally and especially constitutional experts, then they can be helpful in putting what the Yemenis agree on, on place. I think uh, so far it's uh, the most successful change during the Arab Spring, so far. However, we are not out of the uh, dark fully. There are still forces pulling each uh, in, in different directions, but I am confident that the change will lead to a united federal or non-federal uh, modern uh, state that respects human rights, that uh, uh, abides with equality, that uh, gives its citizens equal opportunities, uh, uh, that will uh, chart Yemen a new uh, future. Uh, it's not out of the question. Federalism yeah. is not out of the question. Highly decentralized states, state is not out of the question. But this is up to the national dialogue to choose between either one. And highly decentralized state is almost federal. I must say that the word federal is not fully understood in the Yemeni public. 
but federal it means also a highly decentralized state. Now, there are so many uh, shades of federalism. You can establish states like here in the United States. Uh, you can do it like the German. You can do it, and they are still unified states. There are so many federal states uh, that have not broken up as a result of federalism. As you know, the American Civil War was based on two concepts, confederacy or federacy. The war ended, ended in favor of federacy. And the confederate uh, uh, cessation was finally defeated. Uh, let me say this. Uh, first of all, I'm hoping that the final report will be submitted to the president tomorrow. If you go to the website of the preparatory committee, uh, the last meeting was held while I was flying, and I uh, had even signed the accompanying letter on the report of the preparatory committee. A lot of people don't understand the role of the preparatory committee. They think it will preempt the dialogue by suggesting solutions, decisions. No. You will read the final report, it will be out in the web, and you will see it's purely preparation. We have never preempted the national dialogue. Uh, the question of marginalization is not a really valid question because if you want to bring all the people, all political, uh, let's say, shades to participate in preparation, uh, it would have taken even longer time. I am sure if we were not 30 or 31, if we were 16, which was the first proposal, we'd have done it much faster. But first, first of all, decisions are based on consensus. There are no voting. And that was even in the decree that the committee should uh, decide by consensus. If three object, we have to refer it to the president. Now, why was it late? First of all, I think the presidential decree timeline, which was 30th of September, was totally unfit for the task trusted to the committee. If you review the, the decision, you will see it had to do a lot of things within 30 days, which, which was impossible. Secondly, we never started until, I think, uh, September. I think early September. Then Ramadan came, even though we were working during Ramadan. But you know, working in Ramadan is almost no not working. Then the holiday of the Eid. Then we worked until the uh, Eid al-Kabir came. Then we stopped. So we lost almost at least 24 days. First, we never met until two or three weeks after the decree. Then came the holidays. Then, that's one. But I think most importantly, we discovered the task that we have to prepare was huge. And it, any, any person would, uh, would have not been able to. Now we finished our work. I think I'm optimistic that the dialogue will start early January, so the period is six months, which may take longer. However, uh, at least for us in the committee, we can say you have your six months. What's the problem? Finish. In six months, you can draft the Constitution after that, because the basic tenets of the Constitution will be decided by the National Dialogue. Then, drafting by constitutional committee, out of the dialogue and from outside, Yemeni experts, in addition to international experts. The drafting of this constitution should not take more than two months. Let's say by August next year, there has to be a constitution. Referendum can take place, it takes no more. If the election committee has finished 
registering voters, you can do it within a week. And uh, the national uh, election committee is already working. So I am optimistic that by the end of the year, early 2014, we can have the election. It was granted by the parliament, and it cannot be cancelled except by parliament. And as you know, uh, GPC still has a majority. I frankly do not think that it is possible to uh, cancel immunity. That immunity was given to the president and all those who worked with him from day one of his presidency until 33 years later. There is no one who is someone in the country who has not worked with him, including the current opposition. Every one of them has worked with the president. So I don't think it's a question of uh, cancelling uh, immunity. The question is uh, how to create an amicable atmosphere between all parties. Yes, I knew him well. He's married to a relative of mine. I think he was one of the best lawyers in Yemen. He was the Assistant Secretary General of the Arab Lawyers Union. I think he's one, uh, he was one of the uh, most important people in the legal and political scene. Uh, I left without knowing exactly what is behind it. So I'm still in the dark, but it is clearly very sad. To tell you the truth, I am not involved in the politics of this matter, absolutely not. But I think, uh, I was asked, is there a backlash, a serious backlash from the public in Yemen? I said there is a backlash, but I don't think it's at the stage of uh, creating serious difficulty in the in cooperation between the U.S. and Yemen about the drones. However, I believe the U.S. public backlash is far stronger. And therefore, I'm not sure how long it will continue. It's almost finished on paper. Now, the task is to implement it. That's not going to be quick nor easy. Like Jordanian army, out of politics. That, that's my view. Do you think the... <laughs> because I, I, was, I was the one who insisted, if you read the subjects of the dialogue, there was no mention of the role of the armed forces. I insisted that the dialogue discusses the future role of the armed forces. I am one of those who advocate and who is convinced that professional national armies should not be in politics. Uh, this is a temporary situation. I'm speaking about the final structure and constitution of the new army. But today, all uh, military, what is, the, what is politics in Yemen? It's all military. It's not civilian. But we have right to look into the future. I wish the government to think of that. They are not. Most parliamentarians live out of God more than out of their salaries. <laughs> Put Yemen first. To everyone. To everyone. Nothing specific to a certain group. No, each group has its own objectives, has its own. But I'm glad that all of them in the national dialogue will be present in a very substantive, uh, will have very substantive presence. Women 30% at least, youth at least 20%, uh, marginalized group will be present. Uh, disabled or people of special needs will be present. So I think this is the first time that Yemen will have inclusive national dialogue. I was involved in dialogue since 19, 
It was all purely elitist, top performance. This time it's quite different. I will be 80. And you're sick of 80 it. years old, okay. I will be. But I think anyone who continues to play politics after 80 is deceiving the public. Biochemical genetics is the science of molecular biology, but in the 60s it was uh, called biochemical genetics because the no uh, knowledge about uh, full coding for genetic uh, information was at its infancy. And therefore, the general term was biochemical genetics or molecular biology, but today, uh, genetics is far more exact science than it was in the 60s. As you know, even uh, treatment of certain diseases has become possible using genetic information. Uh, the most uh, auspicious project ever conducted in genetics is the human genome, which was announced by Tony Blair and President Clinton officially. Uh, in order not to uh, turn the knowledge in the human genome into uh, commercial patenting. So uh, today genetics is a, a wide, very uh, deep science in every human being and living thing.